Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Karab's Life. It's your girl, none other than Karab in the building. Today on Karab's Life, we are going to be doing a updated makeup routine. This is my go-to look for whenever I decide to wear makeup. Remember um, some videos ago, I told you guys that, you know, I'm simple, uh, Blah, blah, blah. making my makeup look more simplistic more on the natural side not so cakey not so all this extraness making it more for what it's used for which is to cover up imperfections you know if you have like dark circles if you have spottage on your face from like acne scars or whatever the case may be chin scars from chin hairs or whatever it may be you know um just to give you a flawless overall face look like even tone and allow your natural beauty to shine through so basically i'm going to show you how i achieve that and this is you know like i said my go-to makeup look so hope you guys are ready for this video today get your popcorn get your coffee get your tea get your water get your soda whatever it is my lovelies robsters that you guys drink go ahead and get your drinks because we're gonna get into this video okay you ready are you ready are you ready let's go okay so basically first you know we always start by using Carmax for the lips and just a disclaimer if you see me looking either here or down this way my mirror is right here so you know I'm looking because we are doing a makeup look and if you see me looking here, I'm just looking to make sure everything is centered right in the camera. Okay. So let's go. So like I said, I always start off with my handy dandy uh, Carmax. This is a staple in my makeup bag because it's literally the only lip conditioning moisturizing lip balm I can use that will not swell up my lips or break them out because my lips are very sensitive um, I can only use certain products on my lips um, other chapsticks <laughs> they tend to break me out the only other ones that I could use uh, that don't really cause the problem would be if you've ever heard of lip smackers <laughs> most it's, it's mostly like a kitty brand but I used to use that in high school and junior high and all of that but lip smackers or Avon Avon has like these little lip uh, chapsticks those I could use because they wouldn't uh, break out my face not my face but break out my lips but I just sim made it super simple and just stick to Carmex now so it's just Carmex but anywho then next, I will be taking my Master Prime Studio by Maybelline. It's a drugstore brand. Like I said, I like to mix drugstore brands with some high-end products. Um, I have a higher-end one, um, Smashbox, which is basically, it literally, in my opinion, does the same thing as this Master Prime, but um, half the cost. And... I don't use much of it so it lasts a very long time because it doesn't really require much it does not really require much so I just take that and put that all over my face now the second step is optional if you wanted to or not you know if you have a finishing powder you can put it on to set your Excuse me, guys. I think I put too much Carmax on and it got on my teeth. So I kind of taste it. <laughs> Anywho, you can um, put translucent powder on your face 
to set your primer, which acts as another barrier for oil control. Today, I'm not doing that. I'm just not gonna do that. And we're gonna get right on into these eyebrows. Now, I'm gonna show you what I use for my eyebrows. I use a spoolie to basically comb it out, get the eyebrows in place. And then I use this Kiss Professional uh, dark brown eyebrow pencil to do my eyebrows. And then I clean them up with this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Cool Tan. Um, yes. So I'm gonna do that off camera because it just takes too long for me to try to do this on camera. So I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I pretty much just filled them in off camera, but I will go ahead and clean them up on camera because that doesn't take nearly as much focus as me actually filling them in, if that makes sense. So. I just like I said take this and take like a angled brush and this is the Morphe 116 brush and I basically just you know outline them to clean them up and then I just basically you know kind of drag it down a little bit onto the um, eye area to kind of give it a highlighted look a little bit of brightness underneath so it does basically two things at once it cleans up the brow and then it also um, eye area to brighten it up and to basically also clean it up And that's what I typically do. Now, highlighting, not highlighting, but yeah, highlighting the top or concealing the top, it's totally up to you if that's what you choose to do or not. Um, I'm going to probably clean it up with a color that's, you know what, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, but you can use a color that is more close to your skin tone for concealer for the top part just so you don't have that if you're not good with getting rid of the halo effect look um, then yes I would definitely say use the one that's closer to your skin tone but if you can blend out very well then it's nothing wrong with using the concealer that you use for your underneath and then I just like I said I like to conceal underneath the uh, in my last video I like to conceal underneath the uh, eye to brighten it up that's the whole purpose for this concealer And just to brighten up the areas that, you know, I want to bring back for brightness. And um, so, you know, you let that calm down some is a word I use, calm down some. And this is another hack that you could do. You can kill two birds in one stone. You can go ahead and put on your, con like you already got your concealer on, right? Go ahead and put your... Um, foundation in the areas where you want the foundation to go if you're spot doing it then you know the areas that you need to spot conceal or cover but if you're doing full face then just the areas you know outside of that um the foundation that i use is excuse the way it looks this is old and it's dirty it's been in my makeup bag it's juvia's place and i use the to go or to go however you say it 210 that's my shade and then i just put it on my uh flat brush and 
just get to dabbing. I don't put it on my face. I just put it on my brush and then I get, I just dab. I just dab, dab, dab. And then, the makeup that you put on your brush and you just, you know, press it in. In the areas that you want to put that makeup, the foundation that is. And then now we're gonna go ahead and blend this in. It's sat long enough. So it should be good to stay in place. The whole purpose for you letting it warm up or sit for a minute or two or three is basically so that it can just blend out easier and not get everywhere to basically create more control. Basically. So we're just gonna blend that in. And then, you know, there's really, I would say there's no right or wrong way to do your makeup. I mean, obviously, there are do's and don'ts uh, when it comes to makeup uh, because you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to create a whole new face to where it's unrecognizably you, you know, and you don't want to look like a cake face. You don't want to look cakey. You want a smooth refreshing polished put together look where it's not too much we're just gonna hop back into where I left off I left off you know you saw all the contour not contour but the concealer under the eyes and everything I went ahead and blended that out um, you saw me put on the foundation with the flat brush and you know pat it in everywhere and Everything is blended in, as you can see. I also went ahead and put on my eyeliner on, well, not on camera, but off camera. That is another one that's hard to do while you're on camera. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and did that. So I saved the rest for later when we came back together and we are back together. So let me tell you what I do next. So this is basically, <laughs> For the face, I'm pretty much done, basically. Um, sometimes I may add some blush just to add a little bit of uh, rosiness back into the cheek area. Yes, black people get rosy. Mm -hmm, we do. Um, so, I just use my, it's more like a fluffery brush. It looks like the flathead brush, but it's not. It's more rounded. So, I use that and I just... You know, pat it in there a little bit, take off, dust off the access. And like I said, this is the Fit Maybelline um, Berry Bay uh, blush that I use. And it's another drugstore. And I just basically tap it on. Just go like one, two, three, one, two, three. And then, you know, just a little bit of swirl action, light handed. You know, nothing too much. Just a little bit. Because I ain't trying to be rosy posy mosey. You know what I'm saying? So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Three. And just, you know, a little flicker to blend it all in. And I'll do the, uh, you know, the, uh, the ins and the outs. And then that's basically it. Basically with the face. She's basically done with the face, with all the facial makeup that she's going to put on. We're like, basically done. Um, then, you know, I will take my Great Lash by Maybelline or whatever I uh, mascara that I'm using at the time. Um, currently, I've been using the Great Lash because I haven't used it all up. So, if it's not all gone, hey, if it ain't broke, what? Don't fix it. Um, but yeah, I tend to use different Maybelline uh, 
mascaras, whichever ones that, you know, I like. And I'm not, you know, just sold on straight Maybelline either, you know. Um, I will use others or at least try them out at least once to see how they do. But, yeah. So, once I'm done with this, I'll probably find me another one, do some research, you know, on these YouTube streets and see what's another good um, mascara to use i mean i've heard you know better what is it better than sex one the um like let's just say i heard Too Faced had some good ones um if you're looking for a drugstore definitely maybelline definitely uh l'oreal um who else has some good ones um that's high-end I really don't know because I really don't use high-end mascara. I'm just going to be real for, real with you. Because if I can get the same quality in a drugstore brand, guess what she's going to do? She's going to save her acquaintance to and use the drugstore brand. Who, am, who are you trying to impress? Because baby, let me, let's just be real. Once it goes on, if it does the same thing as the other one and it lasts just as long, makes the lashes look just as full, who would know that this is Chanel and this is, you know, L'Oreal. No one would know unless you, uh, braggadacious Betty, go and say, you know, I only use, uh, 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 for whatever purposes. But, you know, no shade to those who do that. Me, personally, if it does the same thing and I can save a coin to two, I'm going to gravitate to the one I can save a coin to two. Now, Unless there is a huge difference between the two. Like, okay, yeah, this is the cheaper one and you know it's the cheaper one. And it ain't a good thing. Then, you know, I may spend a coin to two. Because sometimes you have to spend an extra coin or two for quality. You get what I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? But anywho, as of yet, I haven't seen the need to with the mascara but like I said I'll try it just because I just really want to see what I just really want to see not even what all the hype is about but I just want to see but anywho that's neither here nor there but yeah and I just basically put that on and then just a little bit at the bottom, just a little bit, not a lot because I tend to make a mess at the bottom. And that's pretty much it y'all. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all that's it that's basically all I really just do and onto the lips I always put my lip conditioner on first because you know like once you put it on it tends to go on kind of greasy like really mm. so I kind of put it on first before I do anything to let it soak in and really moist moisturize the lips because once I get ready to put it on after I've completed my makeup look um, or what I'm going to do to my face my lips are ready it's not so greasy so I tend to outline my lips sometimes I mix the different uh, lip pencils today I'm going to mix this um, NYX professional and the color is vintage Vintage is the color. SMLL12 Vintage. So, yeah. So 
so I'm going to do vintage and then I'm going to mix it with SML 23 which is Club Hopper it's also by NYX now these little pencils are very affordable you can get them at Ulta you can get them at <laughs> some beauty supply houses believe it or not um I want to say Walmart too Target Ulta, Walmart, Target, yeah. Some beauty supply houses, you can definitely get this. And if you have a NYX store in your mall or your area, then definitely, of course, there. But these little buddies, they're not that expensive. They are like, they're like five, like $5 and some change, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So, like I said, I tend to mix the two. Now, Sometimes, I would just leave it like this, you know, and call it a day. You can take it a step further and use some um, butter gloss or your favorite lip gloss um, and just add a gloss to it. Or you could do a lip stain, which the lip stain I normally use or lipstick is uh, this Maybelline. Maybelline super stay now this one i've talked about this before it lasts a very 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 long time like it's very hard to get off you literally have to use a whole bunch of carmex vaseline or something that's very greasy and uh moisturizing and then wipe to get it off so that it doesn't feel like you're erasing your lips and it will leave your lips very drying. So that's another reason why you would use something that's very moisturizing, that's very kind of greasy, which would be like a uh, Carmex um, Vaseline or something. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. And then that's pretty much it this is you know and then once again your hands always end up being kind of dusty kind of dirty so make sure you keep some makeup wipes handy a paper towel a wet one wet wipe or something to clean your hands um, or you can get just you know go wash them with good old soap and water um, but anywho, so that's basically it. This is basically the ending look. This is what I tend to do. Um, you know, it's nothing just spectacular, very fancy, you know. Like I said, for eyes, I just usually, not even contour, but use the concealer. Once again, I'm going to show you the products I use. The LA Girl uh, Concealer for underneath the eyes and then to outline the top just to clean them up to make them more neat precise um, look 
I use also for my eyebrows the NYX uh, professional pencil it is an automatic pencil you can't sharpen it you just roll it and um, get this lovely thing from the beauty supply house it's like two dollars and ninety nine cents can't go wrong with that um, or you can use a dip brow I've used that before the dip brow that I've used I've used Anastasia for the heels which is a good one I've used the um, I've used the Maybelline uh, one that is a good one which the Maybelline dip brow is really not a dip brow it is a for your eyes for like an eyeliner um, in a jar but I use it for my eyebrows because it works just like a dip brow and it's very very precise very very good so I use that um, sometimes too but like I said right now I've just been using that pencil and then for the eyebrows you must have a spoolie this is a old spoolie that's why the handle looks a little worn and tethered because I've had this forever this is elf professional brand elf um, and these things were like three dollars so but I've had it for years so they last a very long time um, for the face like I said I use Juvia's place to go uh, to 10 uh, lips like I said for the moisturization the moisturization Carmax can't go wrong with Carmax okay Anywho, y'all know what that is. Still shots for my thumbnail. I just had to get that in there real quick. Then I also use Master Prime. Okay, for my face primer. And then of course the lips, you just saw me use the Maybelline. Sorry guys, I'm trying to wipe this off. But anyways, the Maybelline lip stain. Yes, the Maybelline lip stain. Anywho, and for the cheeks, I use this. Fit Me by Maybelline, of course Fit Me has rubbed off because I've had this for a very long time and it is still full, still full, still full. So see drugstore products, you just gotta know what brand to use, which ones to get, lasts for a very long time. And it is in the color Berry Bay and of course the Great Lash, Maybelline, everybody knows this, this is a staple, oldie but a goodie. And um that's basically it guys that's all i use now for the brushes i'll show you the brushes that i use i use this flat kind of like dome brush flat brush foundation brush i use this round poofy brush to apply the blush and i use and those two are just some um these two brushes are just some makeup brushes that I got off Amazon a long time ago and they have lasted for years keep them clean you know they can last and they were very inexpensive I don't even think I paid over $20 for them for and it was a set it was more than just the one um, they were under 20 and then I use this Morphe Morphe M173 to blend out the concealer this is a good one if you don't like using you know the beauty blenders or you prefer to use a brush this is a good one to blend everything in um, and then for the application of the uh, concealer to go underneath the eye not to go underneath the eye to go on the eyebrow 
uh, to clean it up, I use this Morphe 165 brush. It's an angled brush. And yeah, works very, very well. My Morphe brushes I got from Ulta. They were good ones. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much the brushes, the products that I used once again with the lips along with that Maybelline lip stain. To outline them, I use these two NYX pencils. Uh, this one was Vintage, Vintage, and this one was Club Hopper. These two mixed together along with the Maybelline uh, Super Stay. That's what's on my lips right now and yeah so that's basically it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video um this is nothing more than just you know my go-to look the lip the only thing that would change is the lip and then the eye uh the uh the eyeliner i used forgot this nyx professional and this is the that's the point so uh, felt point liquid pencil liquid pen I should say this is what I used um, on my eye lids for the eyeliner um, but like I was saying the only thing that changes would be the black instead of black sometimes I would just use what I use for my eyebrows do brown and that's basically it and then the lips of course sometimes I do this lip this berry looking lip or I'll do just the lip liners by themselves with a lip gloss or I'll just do lip gloss with a brown a brown outline something like that but that's basically it guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video this is my updated makeup routine um, as you can see your natural beauty still shines through it just helps to smooth out everything and cover imperfections like if you had acne scarring you know the more foundation that you apply the more coverage it would take I didn't put a lot on I literally put like a dot on there and then just you know patted it in and if I wanted more of a full coverage look I'll just add a little bit more and then that will cover up really really well and it also depends also on the type of foundation that you're using um, for full coverage medium coverage or light coverage uh, but that's basically it and I really don't see the need for full coverage for an everyday makeup look you know but anyways to each its own um, but that's it. I want to thank you guys again for stopping by Karab's Life and, you know, tuning in. Um, if there's anything you want to see on this channel, because like I said, this is a lifestyle channel. We talk about a little bit of everything, fitness, makeup, beauty. Um, we have chit chats, you know, my ch chit chat and slurp uh series which is nothing more than girl chat while we have a cup of coffee on a coffee break it's like a coffee break you know what i'm saying um and then i have my uh fit fridays and where we just basically either you're watching me doing a workout or i'm talking about something fitness related um and these are just my tips and uh tricks or whatever that i have I guess gathered over the years on my fitness journey and um, yeah so I just thought I'll share them as motivation for others who are on a fitness journey as well and the same with makeup I don't pro uh, proclaim to be a professional makeup artist however I did go to school okay beauty school for hair and if you've been to cosmetology school you learn everything hair makeup skin all of the above so technically if you have your license then you are a professional okay but um and i do have my license so i i guess i am a professional now aren't i but anyways but that's not what i'm trying to say i don't proclaim to be a makeup artist by day you know what i'm saying i'm just katie I'm just grab, you know what I'm saying? But anywho, so I just like sharing my tips and you know, if you find something that can help you out, um, if you're a beginner and with makeup and you don't want to wear a lot of makeup or you just want to cover some imperfections, hey, I got you. But anyways, um, 
that's about it as you all know i get scatterbrained and not just with like okay what am i saying next but anyways thank you guys once again for tuning in um don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video share 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 a like tell all your friends about karab's life and i hope to see you next time hey girl in the back don't forget to subscribe but thank you guys i love you so 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 very much till next time say stay blah, blah, blah. say st i don't know why i can't say this stay safe in these streets stay safe in these streets watch pray live holy every day bye guys